everyone, it's Tutorials by A here. So whenever I'm looking for something in my purse, like my keys for example, I can never find them. So I thought why not put a large obnoxious keychain on my car key so I can always find them. And today I'll be showing you guys how to make your own tassel keychain. And I put this on my keys and now I have no problems whatsoever finding them in my purse. Buying the supplies for these tassels was super inexpensive. The sheet of leather was only $4 and I got to make two tassels out of it. But if you'd like to go for something a little bit more colorful and fun, you can also use a vinyl. And here are two and three of them that I have made. Since vinyl's a lot thinner, I would highly recommend making a small tassel instead of a larger one just because it looks a lot fuller when it's small. So, um, oops. So anyways, enough talking. Now without further ado, let's get started. So to make a tassel keychain, you will need a leather or vinyl sheet, ribbon, an X-Acto knife, strong holding glue, a metal ruler, and a keyring or keychain clasp. By the way, the Aliens company gifted me with a few adhesive products and one of them is the glue I'm using today, so I'd like to give a shout out and thank you to them. To make a small tassel, I'm taking my full vinyl sheet and cutting it in half, and then I will be cutting each of the half sheets in half again to create quarter sheets. If you'd like to make a large tassel, then only cut your full sheet of vinyl in half and not into quarters. Next, I am cutting a bunch of lines down my vinyl, but I am leaving two and a half centimeters uncut at the top to create a fringe effect. You can leave as much or as little space uncut as you'd like. Now it's time to attach the clasp. Taking a short piece of vinyl that I cut from the end of my fringe strip, I'm looping it through the clasp loop and then folding the vinyl in half and gluing the bottom portion. After the glue is dry, it's time to roll up the fringe sheet. I'm starting at the top and covering a small section of the vinyl with glue and then rolling in the clasp. Then I'm proceeding to apply more glue and then rolling again. I'm not covering the whole sheet at once because I'm using fast drying glue and a lot of it would be dry by the time I rolled to the end. After rolling, I'm holding down the end until the glue dries and then I can add on a strip of ribbon. This part is optional but I think the ribbon adds a cute pop of color. For the ribbon, I'm measuring it to my desired length and gluing it on. Pretty simple. And the tassel keychain is now finished and ready to use. So I did not film outro footage for this video, so let's see how fast I can say the outro in a voiceover. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video overall. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and would like to see more videos from me. And find me on all my social media sites that are in the description box down below, like always, especially on Instagram because I use it a lot. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm talking so fast. Oh my gosh, I'll see you later. Bye!